what's going on everybody? Well, this is a good video. Like this is a positive news type thing and I didn't expect this to happen, but out of nowhere we got thrown a bone. So the other day I got this email from Mercari and it's this email right here. This is what it said. Basically that the IRS is going to suspend the $600 tax threshold law until the 2023 tax season. Because this is the 2022 tax season actually, Andy. You're yeah. going to basically get to push this back a year. So now the threshold moves back to the old threshold, which is $20,000. And some people might be like, well, that wasn't going to affect me either anyway, because I was going to hit $20,000, but it would have affected me. And it's really like you guys that aren't like running a full business and you're just kind of watching videos on YouTube, yard selling here and there, flipping stuff, and you're not hitting that $20,000 threshold, this would have affected you greatly. And for, for people that are full-time business people doing this, a lot of people might say, well, that's not going to affect you because you sell more than $20,000. But I don't sell more than $20,000 on every single platform. So like Mercari, I probably wouldn't have hit 20K on. The only ones I would have are eBay and Amazon. So Mercari, I would have gotten a 1099. StockX, I would have gotten a 1099. Goat, I would have gotten a 1099. Uh, Depop, I would have gotten a 1099. Facebook Marketplace, sorry. Uh, yeah, Facebook Marketplace, I would have gotten a 1099. Um, there's a lot of them out there that just would have been less than, you know, less than $20,000, but over $600 for me. In fact, almost all of them would have cleared the $600 threshold. Um, PayPal, I would have gotten one from both my business and personal account. Uh, PayPal took away my ability to send friends and family from the business account, so I started to have to use the personal account a lot, and that resulted in me taking in more than $600. Uh, in income in that and because and it's it's because of like card shows stuff like that I, I go to sell something and you know the person wants to pay paypal and i go to give them my business paypal and they aren't able to send it friends and family and i'm like i'm standing right next to this guy i'm not going to charge him goods and services and give some of the fees to or to paypal whenever i am standing right next to them. there's no fraud going on here i'm looking at the item everything's cool but you know, that would have been that. They would have given me a $600. I would have hit the 600 on both. I'd have gotten the 1099 from both business and personal. So this is a huge thing. At least now all we have to do is hopefully get some guys in there or whatever it takes. I don't know really what the, what the political process is to accomplish this, but it's priority number one that we keep this at least pushing back, kind of like the student loan thing. Just keep pushing it back because we eventually want them to drop this idea. It's gonna be a nightmare. I've done a video previous to this. I'll probably trail that video with this video so that the people that watch it see what's happened since then, that it's now suspended. But basically, it's gonna be a logistical mess for the IRS. It's gonna be a real headache for people that just you know, sell stuff out of their garage. They're not really like, they're not really like full-time sellers and they're just trying to make a little extra cash, which everybody's probably trying to do right now because it's tough to make money and everything costs more right now. So like, I'm glad the IRS or whoever came down, you know, the IRS is the one that made the decision, but somebody else may have came down and said, you know, right, this might not be the time to do this to these people. Um, kind of like, you know, certain things we did during the pandemic or whatever you want to say there, certain things we did, we, we kind of, thought we were going to be able to do them earlier than we were or whatever, you know, we just, we kind of like played it by ear. Well, this is one of those things, right? We can't go charging people like guys that are just making $600 extra on the side. We can't go charging them money to fund the government. Um, you know, if the government needs more money, maybe they should get it from somebody that's making more than $600. That's my personal take on it, but I don't want to get too far down the political, uh, diatribe rant there or whatever you want to call it. Um, the point of this video is more or less just to tell you that you don't have to worry about the tax thing for your 2023 taxes. So if you made less than 20 grand and you saved all your receipts, you can file that way or whatever, but you're just not going to get a 1099 um, and you can kind of claim the income you, you want to be honest about. Or, you know, don't recommend it. You could just not claim anything and, you know, hopefully they don't find out. Not recommending that, but just telling you that without a 1099, you're not obligated. Um, but surely, you know, if you sold enough, you're smart enough to report the income, uh, you saved your receipts and you can deduct the cost of goods sold or whatever off of that. And you can go from there, but just putting that on your radar, just letting you know that the $600 threshold, uh, the tax law that they had put into law for the 2022 tax season is now going to be pushed back. It won't be effective until January 1st, 2023. 
So you don't need to worry about getting a 1099. The IRS isn't going to call you out if you made less than $20,000 on any platform. And that is great news for the average Joe. If you liked this video or you found it useful, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the logo button up in there or the regular old subscribe button. I don't really care. Uh, but, you know, if you liked the video, like it, uh, share it with a friend. Uh, I don't know. Do whatever you got to do with it. But in the meantime, keep on flipping.